Welcome to the uh, Unearthed Organised Dig. Um, end of October, last day of October, and it's at, well, you can see, look at this. It's absolutely deluging it down. Uh, it's not putting these hardy soles off, however. Uh, we can't control the weather. The farmer's fine with us coming on. The wind's getting up, as you can see. It's probably the worst conditions you could detect in, but we're going to stick it out. Anything good comes up, I will let you know, but look at this. It just gives you some idea of how bad it is. Well, it's about half an hour into the dig, and I've actually come under this canopy here to get, get away from this horrendous weather. It's literally driving, uh, I would say, 30 mile an hour winds with really heavy rain. Uh, I'm, do you know what? We've had about a week of solid rain now. We're not, obviously, people that are keeping their eye out uh, on the weather forecast would have known that Cumbria's flooding considerably. And today, it's just adding to the uh, the woes of it. I mean, I, can't, I can literally, I can't even turn myself into the. Uh, I mean, look at that. It's just. You know, it's just. I'm, I'm not going to use the word biblical, but it's biblical. Can't help it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk down here There's a couple of fields that the people are detecting in now A couple of guys are now braving it on here uh, They're going to have to be really careful with the holes for obvious reasons We're on ploughed land here, the farmer's been kind enough to let us on uh, You know, if it was nice and sunny and dry I bet we would have, we'd have, we'd have been finding some cracking things But anyway, we're half an hour in I'm hoping that this is going to pass over The weather did say it's going to break off um, and I can only hope that I can get amongst the people Whew. and uh, you know look at that it's literally just just it's, it's unforgiving weather anyway let's see what we can find let's see what we can find right uh, the rain believe it or not the rain has give up uh, and I've just caught up with Shirley and she's just had the first hammered of the day and I have to say it's a rather tasty one um, I was saying that was a half growth I'm going to actually see if I can put a picture up of this later. I keep promising to do it and I forget, but look at that. Absolute beautiful portrait. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's a really good sign. I'm pleased. She's pleased. I'm here, I don't know, five minutes after seeing Shirley's wonderful half growth, and we're here with Daz. Uh, he's just had this uh, hammered coin. This is his first one with his Equinox, so he's really happy. He's been uh, a little bit battered by the plough. Uh, and again, as we talk about the plough doing the damage to the coins, there's a perfect example of it. So we are actually saving these little pieces of history from, from further damage. But there you go, second hammered of the day. Right, we've had a brisk walk away from the uh, people that are finding the hammered coins. We're here with Dean. Trumpet brooch, look at that. What a beauty. Well, we suspected, we suspected there'd be Roman on here. And uh, that produces it, proves it even. Look at that, an absolute clonker. Absolute clonker. Right, folks, um, as always, keep watching. Talk that I like to hear. Right, we're here. We've just had a look at Dean's brooch and then uh, another trumpet brooch from Pat and not too far away from Dean's we're on a bit of high ground here as you can see rain has stopped the Roman gear is coming up and that'll clean up quite nice thanks for showing me that Pat are you happy? yes that's what I like to hear yes uh, we're here with Al yeah you did Alan yeah yeah uh, we're here with Alan in the afternoon he's just walked on the field and picked up a hammered Penny, I'm not sure if that is a York Mint with the with the centre quarter foil, maybe I don't know. Um, Worthy of more research, but definitely a uh, hammered penny. Well done to him. And we're here with Noodle himself, Dave Hilton. And I don't know if you can see that, folks, but that's actually a really nice coin under that. Uh, so I would say it's one of the Scottish. It's not a token. It might be a token. Might be a jet, but I think it. I think it might be a Scottish coin, that. 
it's hard to tell without drying it out and giving it a bit of a clean but that's definitely got some age about it as I'm homing in as I'm homing in on it that side needs a bit of a clean more research on that one mate that's got uh, it's quite nice I think there'll be something tasty underneath that coin right, right keep watching right. right everybody I'm here with Super Jim and he's just had his very first crotal bell uh, not a common actually not a common find in Cumbria down south uh, East Anglia in particular they seem to come up in just about any field possible but not uh, not too common here so I'm really pleased that he's got that it will clean up rather nice excellent work from Jim right just after dinner uh, we've had um, a bite to eat and we're with Phil Burrows who's just had a hammered and it looks to me very much like a Mary Groat so well done to him but he says but he hasn't finished there I'm just going to hand him that one back and pick up another one which is another hammered from Phil James I would say with the uh, thistle and the rose is it a penny is it a half groat can I remember no but either way still a fantastic find right it's a hammered exactly well done you could be on your hat trick could be yeah yeah and you're the man to do it yeah right folks keep watching you're listening Wayne <laughs> and, and get her feet off <laughs> right sports anyway let's get to the let's get to the serious stuff with Mark and he's had this ni really nice little medieval buckle with the pin still on still attached which is a great find yeah love that that's probably buckle of the day up to now sir yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Nice. I like it I like it and you've had a coin of some description. and it looks like a big lump of bronze maybe part of a buckle plate I'd say yeah. Happy days, mate. Okay. You've still got a couple of hours left. Well done out. <laughs> <laughs> that bad, eh? Right, folks, on to the, on, on the next. Right, folks, we're here. Much excitement again. Steve Fullard. I thought it was a Lizzie three pence. And some of you would think it is. But it's actually not. It's one of the Henrys. Is it Henry VIII? If I can get this, just bear with me. Look at that. You can see his uh, Henry VIII side facing portrait. Big button, oh, nice beautiful button. coin, beautiful coin. And he hasn't finished because earlier on in the day he did get an Iron Age Romano British toggle. There you go, look at that. Well done, mate. Excellent work. But that, that half groat, because that's what it is, a half groat, is an absolute beauty. See what I mean about that, because it's got a wrong... Yeah. Excellent work. Right, OK, yeah, folks. Just, yeah. Couple of hours left still. Mid-afternoon, uh, we're here with Wayne. And he's had a child's half groat, a rather tasty one as well. I'm going to face that into the sort of light, if you will, because the sun's actually come out. Would you believe, after all that horrendous weather the sun decides to make an appearance and there you go yet another hammered this has been a great day for hammered silver today it really has and that's just proof of another one well done Wayne right keep watching folks uh, we're here now with Fred who's just had a, the first cut quarter of the day long cross voided long cross Henry the third um, there you go folks There you go. Okay, nice find. Well done, him. We're back with Ryan, who's just had a hammered. As you can see. Charles, James. One of the two. And stay there, folks. Stay there, because Ryan's also had a spur. You got a spur rowel? Yeah. It is. It is, my friend. I'll just put that in there. And then we'll show that on the old uh, look at that, that's uh, got to be medieval in date. Well done, sir. Thank you. The gentlemen are the gentlemen are fighting back after <laughs> after the women took over this morning, the men seem to be uh, 
on top. Right folks, on to the next. Right folks, we're here with Dave Hilton. And I'm just going to turn this to the light, see if we can focus in on it. But what is it? Is it... I don't know, is it, is it, is it a Venetian Soladino Galliar Penny? Looks like to me. Small little hammered. Can't really see much on that side. Very difficult to get the sun because, oh there. That's a ha another hammered out of this field. We've had quite a few out of here now, seven or eight at least. Right, I'm going to uh, see if I can get a better picture of this. Because that's all we've got at the moment. Still a nice find, well done to Dave. It's not two minutes from Dave Hilton's hammered, but Neil Irwin. He's just pulled his own up. Medieval Penny Edward probably. And that looks underneath that mud, a rather nice coin. We're heading towards the most hammered of any unearthed dig, apart from the hard site. So there you go, folks. More hammered coming up. And we've still got, a, well, an hour, an hour or two. Fantastic work. Uh, we're here with uh, Simon. He's had this mount of some description. Anybody that knows what it could be, uh, I don't think it's particularly old, but I don't think it's modern either. Probably Victorian, possibly... Uh, around about that age, has it been a mount onto furniture? Is it a furniture mount? Has it been onto leather? What is it, folks? Interesting piece. An interesting piece. Back, back at the car with Louise, who's had an array of finds. We don't know what this is, this artifact here. It could be a buckle. She's had a silver. Sixpence. Not full silver, but silver. It looks like a medieval lead token I would say or a weight and we don't know what that is so you haven't had a bad day have you not bad not bad for a film star not bad for a film star I've well done Victoria Pen half penny you know well there's been an array of finds people find hammers and roman bits and all sorts it's been a wonderful day and well done to you thank you keep watching folks right everybody towards the end of the day the weather is setting in again people are still out trying the very best to find stuff Danny Duke comes up with a bit of silver right at the end. Uh, I'm very surprised that Danny Duke hasn't been one of the people that I found hammered, but uh, you can't have it every week. But he did find a little bit of silver off a walking cane. Um, I'm pretty much done for the day now. If anything comes up at the end of the day, I'll put the fines up at the end of this. But it's looking likely that this is the end of what has been an extremely productive day. Thanks very much for watching. Bang the subscribe button if you want. If not, doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, folks. On to the next.